In this video, we'll show you how to read a pump curve so you can base your selection on the specific needs of your application. A basic pump curve provides two pieces of information about the pump's capacity to move water, head and flow. Head is the height to which a pump can raise water straight up. Water creates pressure or resistance at predictable rates. For example, every 2.31 feet of head equals one PSI of pressure. Common units for indicating pressure are feet of head and pounds per square inch. By calculating head, we arrive at the differential pressure that a pump has to overcome in order to raise the water. We use that calculation to choose the right pump. Flow rate is the other important specification. It is the rate at which a pump can move a volume of water through a system at a given pressure. Flow is typically indicated on the horizontal axis in units like gallons per minute or gallons per hour. Now let's put head and flow together. Let's say you want to know the flow rate to expect from a pump at 60 Hz when the pressure is 80 PSI. In this example, the flow rate is 1,321 gallons per hour. Because some pumps can operate at a range of horsepower, curves may include additional information to account for the range of a pump's performance. This curve features a pump that can operate from 2 to 10 horsepower depending on the desired performance. On this graph, each curve represents a typical impeller size for this pump, ranging from 4.33 inches to a full-size 6.42 inch impeller. In addition to standard PSI and flow, the curve at the bottom of the grid indicates NPSHR, which stands for Net Positive Suction Head Required. NPSHR is the minimum amount of pressure required on the suction side of the pump to avoid cavitation. NPSHR is determined by the pump as each one is different. The other side of the equation is NPSHA, with A standing for available. NPSHA is determined by the process piping. You always want NPSHA to be greater than NPSHR. Without enough net positive suction, the pump will cavitate, which affects performance and pump life. Cavitation is the formation and collapse of air bubbles in the process liquid caused by rapid changes in pressure that is damaging to the pump. Pump curves also show you where pumps operate at maximum efficiency. In general, the center point of a curve indicates the head and flow coordinates where a pump is operating at maximum efficiency. Now, let's review what we've talked about. What two pieces of information does a pump curve provide about a pump's ability to move water? The answer is head and flow. Next, what is head? Head is the height to which a pump can move water straight up. What is flow rate? Flow rate is the rate at which fluids move through a system. And finally, what is NPSHR? NPSHR is the minimum amount of pressure required on the suction side of the pump to avoid cavitation. For a complete line of CSI centrifugal pumps for clean-in-place and other applications, visit CSIDesigns.com.